this is more um, goes out to everybody that I offend. Um, I see things from a totally different perspective than anybody else. And it, it, when you view your world, it's so easy to assume, while well, everybody else views it the same way you do. Um, <clears throat> if you see blue, you assume everybody sees blue the same way you see blue. But yes, some of us are colorblind. Um, so it's been, you know, a life experience of wondering, well, what is it I did that offended you so much? You know, because, and, and basically, it, it's been, for some odd reason, people have come to me all my life bitching and complaining about their life. And every time people come to me and bitch about their life, they always tell, always, always, always tell me what their solution is. So when they're bitching about their lives, I naturally say, well, why don't you, you know, I point out the solution that they just told me and that offends them. And that has been this, this life understanding about myself is why is it that people get offended by their own truth? It's, you know, and, and, People are constantly have always said that I was wrong. So I never believed in myself. You know, I believed in myself, but not as much as I should have believed in myself. I, I doubted myself because, well, I offend people. I'm an offensive person. And that's why I started this YouTube channel to improve on my communication skills because I don't want to offend anybody at all. There's no bone in my body that wants to offend anybody because frankly, I'm offended. I'm offended constantly. Whoever I offend, they have offended me. And um, it's escalated to the point where Frank is hating everybody because everybody's offending me and yet I'm offending everybody else. So there's something in my communication. There's something going on um, that I don't know how to communicate effectively. I don't know how to communicate in a way that's non-offensive. So that's why I say I'm trying to improve on my communication skills. Clearly I have no problem talking. <laughs> I can go into toast. I, I, I actually did go into Toastmasters and within as soon as as soon as I entered there was a contest that I entered into I wasn't scared and started winning awards <laughs> I won I think I came in second place in a speech contest out of people that have been entering these contests for over 20 years so I have no problem talking it's what I talk about it's how I how I talk, the topics that I talk about. Because even when I was in Toastmasters, they all said, boy, you know how to talk, but it's your message. Your message is wrong. And it's like, oh, God. Okay, well, Toastmasters is not the group for me because uh, um, they didn't like the message. <laughs> And they were constantly criticizing me all the time about the message. When Toastmaster was about, it don't matter about the message. You can bullshit all you want. You can tell the biggest lie in your speech. It don't matter. The whole point is getting up there and telling your speech. But apparently, the topics that I talked about were very, very offensive to everybody in the group that they ended up paying attention too much to the message and not actually to the speaking. <laughs> you know, because that's what it was all about is the speaking. Um, which I found that really odd too. Um, so that's what I'm working on. If anybody that is starting to see some changes in me, um, maybe my communication skills are starting to improve a lot more. Um, I'm feeling a little bit more change. I'm feeling like I'm getting, um, accepted. That was, that played a major, major role in my experience is just being accepted for being different. 
Um, we all want to be accepted for being different. So, uh, and usually it's whatever your issue is, um, is reflected out in the world. So if I don't feel like I'm accepted, clearly I'm not accepting everybody else. And um, maybe my words need to be a lot more loving. Um, but at the same time, I'm kind of seeing that um, I needed to poke the bear. I needed to piss people off because the conversation only begins when you're pissed off. It, I found that when you're loving, people don't really respond, which is really odd. <laughs> So it, it almost seems like it was a natural thing to do is just poke the bear and stimulate that conversation by being offensive. Be at one. Love the fact that I offended people. Because maybe people needed to be offended so that they would um, just have that conversation. Because when you start engaging in the conversation, then you start sharing information. And through the sharing of information... I mean, all problems are solved once you find the missing information. <laughs> so, um, I am starting to notice this urge to smoke is going away. Um, said that a few times before, but it's still there. I'm not saying it's gone. But I am noticing that I'll go a day, two days, without even going to a store. I'm noticing that... I never even thought of having a cigarette for a long, long time. Um, so it's starting to go away. Um, clearly the fact that I still go for a cigarette means I still have an issue that I need to work through. But I, for the most part, I think it is uh, more boredom right now. I'm bored to friggin' death. And I'm a workaholic. I need to be productive and... Um, I need to be out mixing with people um, and because that's not happening right now I smoke so I know that instead of smoking I did something else like put myself out there even more but even that's been a challenge because I have done that before I have gone to groups and uh, one group for example in this area I went to a group called open mind <laughs> And I never seen a group that was so close minded. But I got frustrated um and I left. Where um they weren't actually in disagreement of anything I was saying. I mean, a lot of people did think that what I was saying was, you know, stimulating the conversations. Everybody kinda liked it, but um I didn't follow through because once I started well, if you all are like in agreement with this why don't you hear the big news you know like why don't we talk about bigger stuff because it almost seems like i've got to sit there with these groups and everybody's so focused on we got to do this we got to do this that everybody just wants you to support their ideas that i'm in disagreement with and if they don't accept me then the only it it really does appear that in order for me to belong to a group i've got to go along with the group and i can't <laughs> so i don't know maybe it, it was that i had to be a lot stronger in person within myself not to be offended so much and hang into the group but um i am working on myself uh, there's I know I'll get it when I don't offend anybody because I sure don't mean to offend anybody it's coming I'm a work in progress but thank you so much again to everybody that uh, does support this channel um, I do like the idea that it is a small channel because when I put something out there I am asking for something you know, I am asking, I guess, for that disagreement so that we can start that conversation. And I learn, I grow from those conversations. Um, so 
it is the thing that's saving me. It is the thing that's helping me. It is, it is like I'm in school and you guys are my teacher. I am not the teacher here. I am very much the student. And I am just learning one day at a time, just like everybody else. So I am very, very grateful for everybody that's on my channel helping me to learn. Peace out.